What is up everybody? Welcome back to our joint channel. This is the first video since our wedding video got posted and everyone's been showing a ton of love on that and we appreciate it so much. We are so appreciative of everybody um, showing love on the wedding video and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it as much as, as we do. But today's video is exciting because we made our first big purchase as a married couple. You guys may have saw on our Instagram, we bought a 2022 Ford Bronco Sport. Now we've been wanting that Ford Bronco Sport for, for a really long time. Um, I was driving a Tacoma that only had two seats and so now that we're married, um, it just wasn't a practical car. So sadly, I needed something else. Um, it was really, really sad to get rid of the Taco. Uh, I have a lot of good memories in it, but um, it's not a family car. So I had, to, I had to get rid of it. I was looking at cars probably five or six months ago that were kind of more like SUV style cars, um, dad cars as you will. Um, for the future and the Bronco Sport just stood out and I was like, I have to get one. Turns out they were pretty much impossible to find. Anytime we went to a dealership, um, if they had one out, it was sold. Um, anything online, it was dealer ordered. One day last week, I'm on the computer looking at actually other states to go um, get a Bronco Sport and I've decided, you know what, let's just go check out um, this dealership one more time and I'm looking online and 16 Bronco Sports showed up overnight at this one dealership. We hopped in the Taco. We drove over there six hours later. We drove away with the Bronco Sport and we left the taco at the dealership. I was a little emotional because I get attached to vehicles, but the Bronco Sport is sick and it's a lot more um, family functional. So it had to be done. Quick check in on Miss Maple O. She is all done with the Spain process. She's all healed up, stitches out, and we're going to get her hair cut soon. So. She's gonna be a freshly cut little girl. So when we posted on our Instagram stories that we got the Bronco Sport, a lot of people wanted a car tour, so that's what this video is gonna be about today. Just gonna to give uh, a little car tour of the 22 Bronco Sport. Um, we now have two cars, so we had to get rid of my taco, obviously. Um, we have the Bronco Sport, and then we also have Cass's uh, 2013 Hyundai Elantra. Um, we didn't both wanna get new cars at the same time just because we didn't want two car payments, so we decided since she didn't have a car payment currently, um, we would, she would drive her car a little bit longer um, before getting a new car just because she doesn't have a car payment. Bronco Sport is a little bit more of a feminine car, I would say, but I love it. So it is going to be my main driver, even though it's our, it's our obviously, car as a family because we're married. Everything's together. But um, I'm going to go show it and hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, we're out here at the Bronco, and I just got to show you guys. I mean, this is just, it's such a beauty. Uh, I'm in love with this thing. I love driving it already. Um, starting with the front, we got the cactus gray color, um, which is what we both wanted. Um, Cass kind of liked the Oxford white too, but I was I was a bigger fan of the of the cactus gray. I really like just the front, how basic the Bronco is, just kind of spread out and block letters. It looks really really solid. Um, also a big fan of the headlights on this car. Um, this the white bar that just runs along with it with with the circular when this car is uh, on at night It's just a really really good looking car from the front um, kind of reminds me of a Jeep um, along with a Land Rover kind of uh, Body style with this car kind of a mix between um, the two which I think Ford just did a really really solid job with this uh, It's a very sporty like outside car um, which I like because um, we're planning on using it a lot of road trips a lot of summer trips to the lake we got a paddle board um, you know with maple um, we're planning on uh, just making a lot of trips in the summer and, and summers to come really sporty car it's, it's actually four-wheel drive which is perfect um, I've never owned a four-wheel drive vehicle before so it'll be nice to feel a little bit safer in uh, the winter months I love the Big Ben logo um, there's four options for the car there's the Big Ben there's the base model um, there's the Outer Banks and there's the Badlands so we end up going with the Big Ben um, really really like the wheels um, love the the bronco logo there just very very good looking um set of tires one thing i really like about the bronco sport is the extended roof up here so you can see how it kind of goes up it gives a lot more headroom for the people in the back and as long um, more space in the back of the car here is the back i won't show the license plate but um bronco sport just looks really good back there i love the white block lettering looks really good and the only ford logo on the entire car is right here and they made it pretty small so i like that um, what I, what's really cool about the Bronco Sport is there's a, a button for glass and a button for the door. So let's say I just want to pop the glass right here. Just want to throw like a board back in there or something. 
just easy access close that if I wanted to open the entire door just pop that open and there's a ton of space back there I already got the golf clubs back here you already know um, but a ton of space uh, and then I can easily put these seats down and, and it's even more space. What I really liked about the Outer Banks and the Badlands model is this uh, hard uh, hard uh, plastic or whatever this is was actually the same material as here. Whereas here it's more of like a felty um, type of carpet. But a lot of extras back here. I mean there's, there's a charger, charging port. Um, there's different hangers. I'm still discovering new stuff every day. Just a really, really spacey back of the car. Now here is something cool that um, I saw. No, no knob. It's the easy fuel, just push it in, comes out, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're here in the back seats. Not the biggest uh, car for legroom, so if you got some giant kids, probably wouldn't get the Bronco Sport. Um, but honestly, still plenty of leg room. I really like these extra cup holders that fold back down here. Um, so the seats, it's kind of a mix between a little bit of leather and a little bit of cloth right now. Um, the, a lot of the Outer Banks and the Badlands models have that brown and black uh, leather interior. This just has a little bit of mix between the like a gray interior and a black leather. But we are actually going to take that in in a couple weeks and we're going to get it um, brown and black leather. Um, seats on these for a little bit of aftermarket detail. We wanted to get leather seats just because you know with maple um, They're just more durable kids down the road um, Cloth seats could tend to get a little bit dirty and a little stained So we wanted that leather I um, mean we wanted the brown and black look just because it's a really sleek look with um, everything going on in this car So eventually we'll get those brown and black um, leather two-tone seats um, put in but yeah look back here um, It's actually more legroom than I thought um, 510 human being back here and um, I could go on a road trip back here. There's a ton of room. Again, ton of headroom um, with that raised roof and just really, really good looking interior of this car. Seat there if you need it or some cup holders. Now we're gonna hop in the front. Start out here, nice Bronco logo just right on the wheel. It's a really, really clean, clean looking, simplistic uh, front, um, really nice screen here. It comes with Apple CarPlay, which is awesome. I've never had that before, so I'm just kind of figuring out all of that. A um, Couple cup holders up here, got the gear switches right here. And then what's cool thing, I'll show you in a second, um, also press to start, never had one of those before, so this thing's like a spaceship to me. Um, it's got these GOAT modes, and the GOAT modes um, actually switch what kind of mode you wanna be driving in, so, um, it will show right here. I'm switching the goat mode. It's a normal then there's eco Sport Slippery and sand so these are meant to go a little bit off-roading uh, I'm definitely excited to do that this summer and uh, I definitely want to turn on the sport mode here soon and uh, See how fast I can whip this thing even in normal mode. This thing has really good pickup um, It's definitely faster than anything I've driven before um, I've been going like 80 on the freeway just feeling like it's nothing really really smooth driving car Which has been nice so far again Apple CarPlay, which has been sick Currently got 271 miles on it um, When I first test drove it it had like three miles. So when I say this thing is new it was uh, it was brand new So on the back seat it was a little bit of leather back here and cloth in the front seat. It's all it's all of the cloth, so that's another reason why we wanted to get the leather seats is in the front. There is no leather, so again, it's going to be like a brown with black um, two-toned leather interior. But other than that, um, this car was perfect just the way we wanted it. Um, got a lot of nice features that we're still figuring out every day, um, which is fun. And yeah, uh, we love it. There's Mommy and Mapey. Cutie Mapey. Mapey's matching Mommy. Oh, that's cute. Just wanted to say bye for real. Bye, Mapey. But yeah, that's kind of all the car tour for now. I didn't really know what else to show. I'm still kind of trying to figure this spaceship out myself, but it's a really, really good looking car from the outside to inside. I'm pumped. Gonna have this for a really long time. Again, um, it will be a dad car down the road for me um, sometime. Again, you guys know if you guys have followed us, we it's not we don't want kids necessarily anytime soon. We're definitely enjoying the time of life that we're in, but. Having a two-seater Tacoma was just, it just wasn't smart in case something happened or happens down the road. So I definitely wanted to have something um, 
to drive that uh, could fit a cart seat uh, eventually and I didn't want to be getting a new car right when we were pregnant when all those expenses would come in a couple years down the road so wanted to get most of this out of the way before I ended up having kids so got the dad mobile a little bit early but I'm pumped and uh, it's got me wanting to be a bit dad already so we'll see what Cass says but no um, I'm just kidding about that but love this thing train action we live right by this train but honestly I like the train but that's the end of the car tour vlog we will definitely be more active on this channel um, with us just now being settled back um, after a honeymoon and all settled in moving all my stuff into the apartment so a lot more stuff coming on this channel from here on out hope you guys had a great day and we'll see you later